Welcome to 123 Geek. Let's get started. Thank you so much for stopping by 123 Geek. This video is about video games. Actually, two video games. Those two video games are Dauntless and Observation. So I recently just started playing both Observation and Dauntless. Let's start with Dauntless. Dauntless is very similar to the Monster Hunter series, except for, for me, it seems to have a little bit more of a story, and that's good. For me, the Monster Hunter universe has always been a little bland. It's a fetch quest game where you go and you battle other, or basically you battle a bunch of monsters. Most of the time, these monsters look like dinosaurs, so it's basically a dinosaur game. Um... The thing is, is that that's all you do in most of the Monster Hunter games. I got kind of burnt out and I stopped playing. In Dauntless, however, you are actually in the midst of kind of like a war. And you go out to hunt and you do do fetch quests and hunt these things. You do go together like Monster Hunter Worlds. However, you actually, you go out, you go and you capture these things or you fight them until you beat them you can either go in a party or by yourself and you have to level up your armor your weapons and basically the things that you use as you hunt so there are actually about five different types of weapons that you can use you can use a sword you can use a uh you can use the uh like a like a spear you can use a hammer, you can use a axe, and you can use a handgun, uh, which they call the repeaters. And uh, there's actually more story to it than that. The thing is, is that your, your goal is to become a, uh, basically one of the dauntless, the people that go out and they, uh, they kill these, these, these monsters and these are more monster like uh they take forms of different things but they have for instance um a, an owl that's like combined with a bear and they're all very powerful and they all have different kinds of stats like it's a an owl that uh you know throws wind and uh and like like slicing attacks and stuff like that then there is a lizard that uses the earth and basically lifts the earth up and will attack you via the earth. So to me, it's a little bit more interesting. The fetch quests aren't, you know, go over here, find this item, come back. No, it's generally you go, you can find items, you can do crafting, you do all the same, very similar things. But on top of that, it's free to play on the Epic Store. I have actually been finding quite a few awesome titles on the Epic Store because they are kind of the ones that are trying to be the next Steam. And they're doing a really good job because there is the Epic Store sale right now where you get $10 off anything that's over uh, or at $14.99 or above. Let's move on to Observation. So, Observation. That is a very interesting game. Think of 2001 A Space Odyssey, but from the point of view of the computer or the ship. That is what you are playing. You, I think, you're basically playing the antagonist in the game. And your name, it, well, the name that you're called is Sam, or in this case, it's Sam OS. And your goal is to help the survivor of some weird thing that happened in the game. I don't want to give too much away, but that person is kind of left alone on this space station. And your goal at the very beginning is to help this person get, uh, get 
you know, the help that they need. They can't contact Houston. They can't really do much of anything. And it's actually within just the first, it's very environmental, which is a great thing. I, you know, environmental games, story driven games are very exciting because they really force you to dive in. And I believe in my opinion, it's kind of a lost art form, uh, doing a really good storytelling game because a lot of them, it's either been, you know, action only or, or a heavy emphasis on action and not story driven. And it, it feels almost like an old adventure game, but with a little bit more interaction, something similar to Myst. You do have to do some uh, kind of guesswork. There is puzzles, plenty of puzzles within the game. And it's overall a really good game. So it's definitely something that I would suggest going out, taking a look at yourself. Uh, so remember, it's called Observation. And like I said, it's actually quite a good title and it's really something that I believe a lot of people will really enjoy. So uh, once again, at 100 subscribers, I will be doing an awesome giveaway uh, where it will be uh, using Gleam to actually do the giveaway. So if you can please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified on my next video to come out, that would be fantastic. And uh, thank you so much for stopping by 123Geek. Have a fantastic week.